This video will demonstrate how to use drag and drop method. The, what is unique with uh, IronCAD is the ease of modeling all kinds of parts by using drag and drop method. And in the scene you see uh, perhaps a, you can call it the toy car model and in the scene browser you see what I have been using to model it. I've been using shapes from uh, the catalog browser to the right and some features from the modify group in the feature tab. Well, let's get started. We, I will start a new 3D scene pressing on this button, new scene, by the and using default template. First of all, I will model this toy car a little bit faster. I will show you how you can do it. And after that, we will uh, model together, step by step. Uh, first of all, I will left drag a box into the scene and do some changes on the size. This one, 120, double click, 80, and turn around. And then I will remove material. Just to a little bit of the side, like that, and uh, change that value that one to 65 and uh, and we do a chamfer on this edge it's 2050 and okay and then we'll do a blend edge on that one 15 and that edge four millimeters this edge too and this edge this edge okay we blend this edge and that one and uh, we'll do a shell part so okay and uh, we s make holes for the wheels through the whole part change the diameter 30 millimeters and uh, another hole like that and uh, change to 20 millimeters. As you can see it's uh, very easy to model in IronCAD and you can be very fast. Well now it's time for us to work together. We will model this car step by step so we uh, start a new 3D scene with the default template and let's get started. To begin with we will place a block in the scene. We press down the left mouse button and left drag the block into the scene and we release the mouse button like that and now we have a part in the scene and as you can see in the scene browser to the left and uh, if you then click on that part when it's selected you will be in a IntelliShape mode and uh, as you can see there are several handles, size handles uh, you can change the size of that uh, IntelliShape and if you click again you are in uh, face and edge mode and if you click again you are in part mode hmm. I click on fit scene if you click on the part again you will be in uh, IntelliShape mode and uh, if you grab this handle or you press down the left mouse button and drag you can change this side and uh, you can change this side too. You can model this this uh, block stepless by dragging the size handles. But if you want to uh, type in a value you can do that. You see there's a measure in the middle there and if you double click on it you get a menu and you can uh, change the value there and you can also right click edit value and uh, you can double click on the handle, the same value, same menu, and you can also right click and edit size box and then you have all three values to change, length, width and height. And the value that is highlighted is the same as the handle you right clicked on. So press cancel and uh, we we'll double click on this handle. Now we will model the car and we will change to 60 millimeters. And we double click on this handle 
and change this value to 120 click OK but we can also press enter on the keyboard if we want and I click on fit scene and uh, double click on this handle change to 80 press enter click on fit scene well now we have the model the box in the size we want to make the car we will rotate the camera uh, we, uh, a little bit like that and shift to move like that and uh, control and shift key and the wheel mouse button to change the target camera in that corner and we rotate again mm, so we get in the right position like that so now we're in the right position we will remove material we choose this H block and we left drag and drop it on the center point or midpoint of this edge you see the green dot really uh, drop it there and we do that because we want to remove material on the on both sides at the same time and as you can see it is as much material on both sides you see there and there and uh, we will select this handle left click and then we put, press down the control key and left click on this handle the both handles are selected and then we left drag on this handle and as you can see the size are equal on both sides and then we press down the shift key and when you do that you activate a smart snap function as you can see the face highlights in green and then you release the left mouse button while you're pressing down the shift key and you will remove material on both sides as you can see we will turn around the camera a little bit and we will resize this block to this surface drag this handle and press down the shift key get the smart snap function release the left mouse button like that and we'll double click on this handle and we will change the value to 65 press OK and click OK double click change to 40 and click OK and fit in now we uh, have removed the material and we have the profile of the toy car now we will chamfer an edge so we will use um, this command chamfer edges we click on this button and rotate the camera a little bit so we see the, this side of the toy car and uh, we will click on uh, on this edge this edge and uh, rotate the camera, camera a little bit more like that if we look to the left we see in the property browser there are three chamfer types you have distance and uh, <coughs> you can change the value for the distance here and you have two distance and uh, we also have distance and angle but we will use distance two distance and you, as you can see there are 20 and 50 in mine because I have used this before uh, 20 in that direction and 50 in that direction if I would have been written 50 in the upper value and 20 in the lower value it would be nothing to worry about because uh, there's a button you can toggle the radius values if you select this button click on it we'll see the, the in the 3D scene that the value toggle for, to, the, to be the opposite but the values are still there in the value box but uh, we will deselect this button because we want to use 20 and 50 and we click on OK. Now we have done our chamfer and it is in place and I will click on fit scene. Now we will do some fillets. We will use uh, the blend edges command. We click on that button and in the properties browser to the left we will see there are several types of blend but um, we will use the constant and uh, we will click on an edge this now this edge we will click on this edge and we will see a preview of the blend if we look to the left we will see the value for this blend the radius is four millimeters and we see the, the selected edge and we will select another edge this one and we will select this face and you see in the geometry selection that the face is selected and the edge but the face was a mistake I will remove it I can right click on it and uh, click on delete and the selection is removed and you can also 
right click in this area and uh, you can press click on clear and the all, all selected edges are removed but we will uh, select this edge and uh, we will change the radius to 15 and I press the tab key on the keyboard to verify and then we can see the preview of the of uh, the blend and how large it will be then we will select another edge and we will change the value to 4 millimeters and while it's selected we press the tab key to see the preview and we will choose another edge this one and this one too and this edge and then we click on OK now we have made the blend edges on these edges and uh, we will use the command again blend edges now we will click on this uh, edge and as you can see there are, are a chain of edges selected and uh, this is because this button is selected smooth connected which means that all edges which are connected with the radius are selected but if I deselect this button you'll see that uh, the under the first selected edge is visible but if I select it again you see that all edges are selected so I select this edge too and uh, I click OK now we have bl made uh, blend edges on both sides we will rotate the camera a little bit so we can see the toy car from the bottom and we will do a shell we'll use the shell part command and as you can see to the left we have three different shell types inside outside and both sides and we can also have open faces which means that uh, we can choose a face and look inside the part we will choose this face to be open and the thickness of the shell will be three millimeters and we can also choose individual faces to be uh, to have an, an, a different thickness if we click in this area we can choose an individual face if we want to uh, with a thickness of five millimeters but uh, in our case we want just to have one open face and this one and uh, we click on OK and now we have our toy car shell now we will make holes for our wheels and uh, we will use a cylinder an edge cylinder from the catalog and we will drop it on this edge and uh, it's not important where but uh, perhaps aligned with the midpoint of this edge and we drop it there and we will turn rotate the camera to see the other side and we'll use the smart snap function left drag and shift press down and release and we double click on the diameter si handle and we change to 30 and because it is a cylinder it will change symmetrical when you change the diameter and we will take to drag another edge cylinder and drop it on this edge and change the diameter to double click and change to 20 and turn around and use the smart snap function left drag shift key release and uh, and I will click on fit scene and I will choose top front left from uh, this menu and fit scene again now we are at the same position as we started this video as you can see it's very easy to use drag and drop method and it's uh, easy to model and that's why IronCAD is unique among other CAD programs